So the way I started creating the School Age Language Assessment Measures, the SLAM, is that I was trying to come up with something to level the playing field when we were asked trying to assess language. So I didn't think it was fair if New York City kids had not been exposed to some of the content that were the prompts for language, like being out in the forest with a frog or um, uh, gosh, building a principal's house, having a terrarium in the classroom, field day, uh, talent shows. And so I had a subway that I had used, a subway picture of the sh a shoe stuck between the two doors. And I had been using it for a long time. And I asked the same questions. What happened? How did this happen? Did this ever happen to you? And what would you do if this happened to you? And then I decided I would make some mater more materials for the New York City Department of Ed to get that level playing field so we're not identifying kids as having a disorder because they don't know the gist of the story that we're assuming they know. So I did the Dog Comes Home and baseball... Um, no, sorry, Bunny Goes to School with Dr. Miriam Bigori, and they're equally matched, and um, you can do it in Spanish and English, or some people are doing it in at the beginning of the year, and then after they work on the language goals at the end of the year to see what, what kind of progress has happened with that child's language.